so scared. You okay? You okay? He was very, very small and frail. His mother had fallen and he was the only survivor. Nearby rehabbers weren't able to help. Once I picked up Butter, it was pretty clear that he just needed help right now. It was pretty dire, so I just took him straight home. He responded in such a positive way. I could tell that he was going to survive after just a few days because he was very, very much a fighter. Feeling good today, playing. Oh, he's so handsome. I was fed him and fed him and he got bigger and bigger and fatter and fatter but he also had bonded to me almost immediately. He will follow me around the house like a little tiny dog. When they bond in that way, it's really difficult to find a way to make them wild. It was my intention to release him. So once he was able to walk, I started taking him outside every day and putting him in trees and bushes and letting him climb and explore. But didn't matter how much time he spent outside, he would run after me back into the house. He would climb right back up into my lap. He was not going anywhere. So Butter decided he was staying and he didn't really give me much of a choice. <laughs> Good morning. Oh, hi. He is a complete love bug. It's like having a living, breathing stuffed animal with pointy, pointy fangs. <laughs> Opossums show affection by a behavior called slubbing. What that is, is he rubs all over my feet, my legs, my hands. They've never felt more loved or more wet. When I am asleep, it is my face. I wake up with a hairdo you could not possibly imagine. 3 a.m., my new life. It's amazing because he is so loving. He wants hugs, he wants to be held, he likes to kiss you all over. It's bizarre, it's ridiculous. I feel really happy and relieved that I could help him live a life that he wouldn't have otherwise gotten to live. He's not going to be out living a life of a wild animal, but he's going to live a happy life as long as he lives. Oh, hi. Do you just need a hug? What is it?